What's going on guys, Sean here, and we got our first look, our first reveal with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies, so if you guys are excited and are looking forward to more information, more content around this mode in Call of Duty, definitely hit that subscribe button, this is my most anticipated part of Black Ops Cold War, honestly, multiplayer could be whatever, I'm all in on zombies, and from what we've seen from this reveal trailer, there's a lot of things, and it's looking phenomenal. Now first and foremost, it seems like Treyarch is definitely going for a more sustained and more repetitive gameplay loop and when i mean repetitive i mean more playable before zombie was pretty simple you play you die you play again really not much to it but apparently they shake things up and there's even an exfil system where death isn't the only way to escape obviously this exfil system isn't as easy oh i want to exfil and you know you you leave then no you got to survive a couple more rounds and the zombie hordes get cranked up to 11 like times 11 which is absurd so that's also very intriguing and you can earn up you can earn better rewards so I, there seems to be some you know rpg elements going on with zombies apparently i don't think it's going to become an rpg game but i do think there's going to be elements of player controlled systems that's very 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 well needed now when it comes to story of this we all know what happened to our favorite four characters they sacrificed themselves to condense the multiverse and pretty much bring a single universe without zombies well based off the developers they were half right so zombies are still around and the good thing is that the whole canon everything the whole history is definitely getting dialed back a little bit and becoming a little bit more simplified so in this world weaver is leading a cia operation to counteract a soviet group trying to get their hands on information on these zombies things these anomalies and weaver is probably one of the you know black ops community's favorite characters from black ops 1 i honestly loved weaver it was kind of a shame that we didn't see him after that but he is heading this front now when it comes to playable characters it seems that you can pick whatever operator you really want to play as i didn't see like a specific in-game character you play as it seems like it's just whatever you pick we even saw woods we even saw you know different you know iterations of operators we've seen from the alpha so it seems like when you play as somebody, it could be whoever. It's just the story is being told through a girl, Samantha. Uh, Samantha, I think. I don't really know. I forget what their name was. I think she was Sam at least. And then uh, Weaver as well, leading the CIA operation. So that's pretty intriguing. Now, for fans that have been playing since World at War, like myself, it's exciting to see that pack a punch, you know, fan favorite perks, and just a general zombie experience seems to be heading back to what we know and love. And this is honestly a great move. I love pack a punch. I love perks. And it seems that them simplifying things all over again is going to help things a lot because again the other thing was very complicated but it was what it was now we have some information on weapon rarity so in addition to the return of pack a punch machine to transform your weapon all weapons will now have rarity associated with them the higher the rarity the greater the damage output and attachments for the weapon for the first time this will allow any weapon in the game to be sustainable in later rounds this also adds more variety and fun to finding new weapons through wall buys and the mystery box now another thing in zombies is field upgrades outside weaponry players can deploy field upgrades as proactive abilities that add another layer to squad based tactics charge them up by killing zombies then deploy them in times of desperate need from offensive buffs to abilities that aid in invasion or healing and reviving these field upgrades are made to fit numerous playstyles and situation. Now, equipment around the map, you can craft and find lethal, tactical, and support equipment. Lethal and tactical equipment are similar to the equipment found in multiplayer, like frag grenades. While support equipment is home to high-powered offensive weaponry, this slot could be where you deploy grenade launchers, sentry turrets, explosive bows, even chopper gunners, all tools that can deliver a massive power spike when your squad needs it the most. Now, with perks, classic zombies perks, are back with reimagined cold war aesthetic including the return of timeless favorites like juggernaut speed cola there's no longer a limit to how many different perks you consume so go ahead and crack open a six pack if you have the points to do so as well as as i mentioned earlier exfil instead of perishing to the horde black ops cold war zombies provides a new option to escape with your life when you're feeling overrun if you dare if the whole squad is in trouble you can opt to exfiltrate the undead combat zone via helicopter although zombie spawns will be dialed up to 11 you should expect to earn some rewards if your squad completes the final push to survive now all this sounds great it's all of it's also provided by charlie intel you can find it on their website or on twitter i'll link to them down below but in all man this reaction for zombies is stellar it's exciting it looks great it it i just want to get my hands on it honestly i love zombies it's one of my favorite things about the Treyarch games, if not the best thing about Treyarch games for me personally. Not really big of a multiplayer guy from them, but when it comes to their co-op experiences, time after time again, 
they nail it out the water. And one last thing to talk about with the zombies reveal, everything content wise when it comes to maps will be free to play in terms of when you get the game, free content updates similar to how multiplayer will be, or just similar how Call of Duty Modern Warfare has de dealt with their content updates, all of it's free. Obviously there's gonna be a battle pass, but that's pretty much the only thing that you're gonna have to pay besides, you know, operator bundles and stuff like that. But it's great to hear that Zombies has joined the free train when it comes to free content updates. So everybody is involved with the fight, as well as the fact that it's also going to be crossplay as well, which is also great. Now, for all things Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies, definitely that subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely like this video. It helps out the video a lot and be greatly appreciated. And that's pretty much all I got to say on the matter of zombies. Looks awesome. With that being said, hope you guys have a good one. Shannon here, and I'm out.